Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to December. Hey, any December babies in the crowd? Uh, we're here, Annie and I. She's about to come on in a second to bring you an episode of There's an Oil for That. My name is Jess. I am one of the leaders here at WeCo. Here is Annie. Let's if you're seeing this video on YouTube, then hi. Hi, everyone. Annie, are you there? You Hello. Are Oh, I am here. Hi, love. Hi, love. <laughs> How are you doing today? I am doing all right today. How are you doing? I have had an interesting day so far. I discovered a very deep hole, deeper than I am tall, of gray water with lots of old stinky beer in it that I fell into up to my belly button and was lucky that I managed to catch myself before I got any deeper. Wow. Yeah. That is incredible. Do you, did, how long ago was this? Uh, an hour and a half ago. <laughs> you poor thing. Did you have some clothes? I did. Luckily, I had an extra set of clothes and there was a shower and all that good stuff here on site because I would be stinky and grumpy and probably still driving home um, or just getting home had, had I not had all of those things. <laughs> Oh, Annie, I hope that never happens to you ever again. It won't, because now I know where the hole is, and I put a garbage can over the top of it, as well as we have now appropriately made sure that the grate is on top of it the right way, unlike yeah. some other people who left it the wrong way, so that I can no longer dunk tank, nor can anyone else dunk tank into a completely full sinkhole of gray water, <laughs> full of beer. Yeah, so what oil is for that? Oh, wait! <laughs> What oil do you put on that, Annie? Uh, lavender right now. <laughs> lavender, in case you step in a sinkhole of gray yep. water. <laughs> All right. Well, let's provide people the content they crave. <laughs> lotus, actually. I have a mix of lavender and blue lotus that I <laughs> used for that today. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah. I haven't smelled blue lotus, so I'm super excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's, All, right. It's All right. So on that note, <laughs> right? <laughs> there's so, an old that. Mm -hmm. um, I think once again, I'm going to start with what is an essential oil, which again, I love the quote in the Essential Life book, which is concentrated goodness from nature. Essential oils are made up of many different types of plants and things like herbs, spices, citrus, roots, leaves, woods, resins, and they are natural, you know, made up of natural chemicals as all things are. We call them constituents. So when you hear us talk about constituents, that's the chemical makeup of an essential oil. That's the science behind how we know what they're good for. And um, yeah, it makes them, the constituents are what allows us to know what makes them good for different things. Um, how we can study the science of them, how they relate to other plants, and also what benefits to expect. And also, if that is the only isolated chemical compound in the brew. And so it's good to know. They do that thumb, that thumbprint test, where if there's just one, these chemical constituents, but if they find any other chemical constituents, then they're like, oh, that's impure. So it's like one scientific way that you can use chemical constituents. Yeah. And it's, it's amazing because they, you know, that's, that's how we know that all the doTERRA oils are pure is because they figured out what that thumbprint, so to speak, looks like. And so as Jess just said, if they, in the testing process, see that the thumbprint looks different than it should for a particular oil, they'll toss that out and go on to something else. And you can, Apparently, my source to you number has kind of rubbed off of this bottle, but usually you can see that little bit of white in there still. Usually a bottle has its source to you number, and you can look up the testing that's been done on each individual batch of oil. Absolutely. And sharing that you only get pure essential oils. Indeed, because quality matters. It's one of uh, my favorite sayings. Again, out of the source to you, or uh, <laughs> source to you, the uh, Essential Life book. Um, you know, the source of the plant matters, as you like to remind us. Things like the soil and the possible chance of having pesticides in your oils 
because they were on the plants can cause all sorts of nasty effects. The processing makes a difference because you can adulterate the oil just by processing it wrong. So it's no longer pure and it's no longer useful. All sorts of things matter in whether or not an oil is quality or not. And again, that's why I love doTERRA so much is because they hold themselves to standards higher than the standards that we actually have set, which is also why they have internal use oils for the ones that are usable internally, unlike any other essential oil company. Exactly. Not just you can use them for internal, they're recommended for internal use because they are that pure. What I also love about doTERRA is that they grow the plant in the region in which the plant is from. So you do not have to extract all kinds of resources or ship in all kinds of resources for, say, frankincense to grow in, um, you know, Nebraska or wherever it would be. There is a peppermint. doTERRA grows peppermint in the United States in our country. And I, th I, think, I think that's one of the only ones. But it would be interesting to know, like, what essential oils are, like, closest to your region in the world, too. That would be pretty neat. Absolutely. One of my little fun facts that I like to mention all the time is that often vegan food is not vegan like people think it is because of things like bringing in bees that aren't native to the habitat. So like most avocados aren't actually vegan if people are, you know, concerned with things like the use of bees. Um, I learned that on some sort of game show that I was watching um, because they, they truck the bees in to pollinate avocados, all sorts of things that most vegans usually thrive off of. And that ends up making them technically based on the criteria of at least what this game show is going off of not actually vegan because of the way they use the bees. Interesting. I've never heard of that before. Oh, yeah. It was some <laughs> British game show. Well, we don't. Okay. So we don't want concentrated uh, or synthetic, you know, you don't want like candy essential oils. You want like real peppermint, real lemon. You don't want anything synthetic. And also when it comes to like our food, like oils, like food can say natural, even if it's not natural, like the word natural, for example, doesn't represent like the organic nature of the food. And so there's some terms, especially in essential oil, the industry that are um, unregulated. And so anyone can technically write pure on a bottle of essential oil, I'm pretty sure, and not have any or provide any testing resources for their oils. So that's why doTERRA people are very strict about using doTERRA is because we set doTERRA themselves set the bar higher than the standard for any essential oils in, in circulation right now. And, and they provide their customers with testing results. And if you, if you request testing results, from your oils from the company that you like to buy from, you will probably see that they don't have testing results for their oils. And not only does doTERRA test their oils, but they have them sent out to a third party. So you're not just getting those results from doTERRA, you're getting them from a third party as well that's not actually doTERRA itself. So you've got all of that redundancy to make sure that the oils really are pure and the best. Yeah. And that leads us into... Uh, well, after what are oils, it's three ways to use oils, right? Yes, it is. The, the, internal. <laughs> the three delivery systems, which are aromatic, which is getting it in through your olfactory senses, your smell, um, diffusing as well is a way in which you can get them sort of all the ways, but mostly when we talk about diffusing, we're talking about the aromatic properties. You can also, one of my favorite ways is to just put it on your hands and smell it. We then have external or topical, which is putting it on your skin. Your skin is the largest organ in the body that consumes things. And you can put just a little drop of oil on your hand, for instance, and the oil will get into every cell in your body within minutes. People really underestimate how much your skin is is part of your system's digestion in that sense. And it, it gets into all of you. So what you put on your skin, you really do want to be conscious of because we are what we consume and your skin consumes things just as much as your mouth does or your nose or anything else. 
Yeah. And, and what's cool about essential oils, as you know, like our bodies, our bodies have cell, like there's so many cells in our bodies, but those cells have a fatty membrane around the outside of it that essential oils can get into and do work within the cell where a lot of over the counter prescriptions are water based medications that can't get to the cell where the viruses are. <laughs> And last but not least is internal or ingesting it. And um, you can actually get uh, internal through inhaling as well because it'll get into your lungs and into your bloods, uh, bloodstream. Um, but mostly when we're talking about internal and one of our fun facts is that you'll know that the oil will be good for internal use because it will have the supplement facts on them. Is where if it's not recommended for internal use, it won't have, that was so blurry, uh, the supplement facts on it. Um, you can use just dropping it in your mouth and under your tongue, which if you're just spitting it out, that's not actually considered internal use. But if you're swallowing it in any way, shape, or form, that is considered internal use. You can put it in capsules. doTERRA has all sorts of different ways in which you can get the oils into your system internally, including supplements and powders and all sorts of amazing stuff. I want people to know that uh, the forum that we're in right now is a highly censored area where we can't actually tell you all the benefits from taking oils um and so it's kind of like a thing that we have to do where we want you and encourage you to do your own research to see how beneficial oils can be when you use them in these three ways all right and so there's so many oils in in the world uh any plant you know can be distilled into an oil as far as i know and doTERRA carries a lot of different plant medicines for a lot of different uses, including when they do the research and create supplements and things of that nature. So we want to tell you all the wonderful benefits to these, but we highly encourage you to do your own research as well. Absolutely. Which brings me to all of the different ways in which they sell oils, because they do. You can just get the oil or oil blend, but they also have a bunch of ready-made products, everything from shampoo and conditioners and soaps to laundry detergents and dish detergents, you know, um, facial products, supplements, toothpaste, um, you know, wound salves, all sorts of things. Oh, oh, I just saw you using yours. I happen to have mine with me uh -huh. here. This is the deep blue stick, this guys. This is like um, when you're feeling sore anywhere and you want like a deep penetrating relief, then you can rub this right on your skin without getting it on your hands or anything. And it's super, super good. So it's just on the back of my neck for like tension. And now my neck is like frozen wintergreen wonderful. Yes. <laughs> and uh, they have it not only in the deep blue stick as you see us having, but they also have the deep blue rub, which is a more lotion-y consistency. And they're both amazing for different things. I use them both um, depending on what I'm, where I'm using it on the body and whether or not I want to get it on my hands. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And what's cool about the stick is that it has copaiba on it and copaiba uh, connects to the, the, well, I was going to say that. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I'm just going to say that copaiba is an anti-inflammatory substance. So when you are inflamed, you can use copaiba to help. I think I said that right. All right, cool. Yes, <laughs> and the blue rub that is the lotion -y version does not have the copaiba in it. Um, so, how to get oils into your life is the next step in this process, which, you know, we have the retail where you can just go online on doTERRA and buy it. But we always want to bring everybody as much of the savings and the discounts and the free things as possible. So, the first way to do that that we recommend is what we call the wholesale membership which i always am going to mention the fact that wholesale does not mean you have to be someone who's selling the oils to get in on the wholesale membership it is just called a wholesale membership but it's the yearly membership that starts at 35 dollars a year for the first year and goes down to 25 dollars a year after that for anybody and everybody who wants to get in on the savings which it is so so worth it I, I think I purchased two oils and a face serum 
for my first purchase, along with paying the $35 for the membership, which you can also get uh, a free membership with certain um, kits that we have. Um, but it was, it's so worth it. You get the starting with 25% off every purchase, every time, whether you're doing what we call the LRP or not, which is our subscribe and save option, which I'm about to get to. Um, and there's all sorts of other amazing perks with the wholesale membership. Yeah, it's 25% right off the top of retail. So friends don't let friends buy retail when it's so easy to get a wholesale account. It's just like buying your $6 Prime membership or your Costco or Sam's Club membership. It's that easy. And it's so cheap because it's only $35 and then $25 <laughs> year. And you get so much savings. It's redonkulous. And then the second, the second year and every year furthermore that you have a, a wholesale membership with doTERRA, they give you a free bottle of peppermint. And so it's, it's hardly even $25 to renew your doTERRA wholesale membership. Yeah, I think we figured out it was like something like with the free bottle of peppermint, it works itself out to like $2 or something like that. Very little, yeah. <laughs> totally. Um. And with the membership, you can start to earn points. And that leads me to the LRP or the Loyalty Rewards Program, which if you sign up for the LRP and have this subscribe and save program where you get something monthly, you also start to earn points. There are a certain um, point value that you have to be purchasing a month to start earning the points. They vary depending on whether or not you want to get some of the other perks, like they have a free oil of the month. If you um, spend a, a 125 points or purchase 125 points worth in your box that month, you don't have to get the same thing every month. You can switch it up, which I have so much fun getting into my LRP every month online and deciding what I need and I'm going to buy for that month. Dude. Okay. The, the loyalty rewards program, I realized that it's like the frequent flyer program for doTERRA oils company. And so basically when you have like a Southwest card and you get free points for flying, that's just like, like the next level of getting of your wholesale thing is if you have a monthly box that you put anything you want into, you get, loyalty points and then you spend them in the doTERRA store and that's what we love dude i've spent like 400 loyalty points i saved them up for like months and months and went all out for buying christmas gifts and stuff for people so that's 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 less than like a wholesale discount absolutely and you get shipping points back so though you do end up paying for your shipping um each month you get those back in points mm -hmm. it there's so many different ways in which doTERRA is giving back in each purchase in all sorts of different ways, as well as they have their uh, Healing Hands program, which is their donation-based uh, charity. So it, doTERRA is so much about giving back in so many different ways. It just feels so good to give and receive in the different ways in which that sacred reciprocity happens with doTERRA. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I feel as though people understand it because it is just like a loyalty program where, where the more you shop there, the more points you get back. That's the cost that we have. I'm going to get my reference book for Margot's question. Yes. <laughs> also, I regret to say that once again, I have forgotten to write down the calendar. And so the monthly calendar... <laughs> Is going to be up to you once we come to that. <laughs> okay. Pardon. So I am not. Okay. Margo asked this question live. That's yeah. why I left my setting to go get my reference book. Margo asked what oil support pregnancy. And I'm going to show her using the essential life book that any of us could look this up. Not that I don't want to. I do want to. I know for, I'm not the pregnancy expert. We actually have other people on our team that more are. So I'm going to look it up. And I am going to remind people that usually flowers are not safe for pregnancy because they cause contractions or they cause like, you know, early stuff. So I know that you don't want any flowers <laughs> that open up a womb when you're pregnant at all <laughs> in any circumstance. That is good to know. I did not know that. I'm looking, I'm looking. All right. In the 
And while you are looking that up, I'm also going to mention that the next level when it comes to being a part of the whole doTERRA family is being a wellness advocate like those of us who are Woven Earth Collective leaders. And that allows you to not just purchase the oils and use them yourself, but be commissionable with a 100 point value LRP every month um, to earn money back when having other people purchase under you. Absolutely. And it's, it's providing access and education and empowering people to like help help heal themselves with plant medicines because plant medicines aren't going to heal everything you know what i mean our, it's a lot of our own personal responsibility to live healthy lives at the same time but they're very powerful plant potions that that help our cells opt, optimally function there's so many pages of pregnancy i'm just trying to find the one okay pregnancy labor <laughs> as soon as i was like i can't find it i found it it's fine. yep when we surrender, we receive. Exactly. Single oils for pregnancy. Top solutions. Wild orange energizes. Ginger relieves nausea and morning sickness. Peppermint relieves digestive upsets and supports memory. Doo, doo, doo. Clary sage supports labor process. Oh, I understand. It, it is saying that jasmine and geranium supports labor performance so if you this is if you're in labor okay so pregnancy wild orange ginger peppermint soothing blend tension bend metabolic blend that's uh meta power digestion digestion women's blend i think that would be whisper i'm sorry this book isn't like or clary calm clary calm yeah that makes more sense. Clary Calm. But when you're in labor, jasmine, geranium, lavender, neroli, frankincense, bagel, helichrysum. And when you're nursing, fennel, ylang ylang, clary sage, lavender. It also says that having supplements such as bone support, probiotics, digestion, soft gels, omega complex, like the lifelong vitality, the supplements, the foundational supplements that doTERRA offers would all be really helpful for pregnancy support. I hope I answered that question. That was just like a quick, this is a pretty old reference book. So let me know if you have any other questions, Morgan. We can always help you off with the live too, okay? Are we, are we moving on to the calendar, love? I think we are. I think it's about that time. All right. Everybody can just let us know if, uh, if you have any questions about getting oils in your house, okay? You can find Annie at Balance Blackwood. We're going to go into the December calendar. I actually just finished it this morning, so I'm ready to talk about it. Uh, on the 3rd of December, our next event is Healing with Oils. This is a live 30-minute class on the next three Saturdays, okay, that I'm teaching, and I'm inviting anyone who wants to come learn the foundational basics of helping yourself heal with essential oils is welcome to come. It's a really quick class. And then on Sunday the 4th, we have Blend Magic with Blue. She's going to um, prepare the full moon blend live on Instagram. And then we'll upload it to YouTube. On Monday, December 6th, we have Dropping Knowledge. And uh, the product of the month that you get for free with a 125-point monthly box is Balsam Fur. Wow. And I, I think it's a rare, I mean, it's a product of the month, so like everyone's getting in if they have the box in, but like, I think it's a rare that isn't often available. So we'll yeah. be knowledge on balsam fur. We have some research to do. I don't, I don't recall that one being available all the time. Yeah. It's definitely like a little gift. I will add that the other promotion, since it's the very beginning of the month, the other promotion for a 200 point monthly box is a free frankincense. And every year that I've been with doTERRA, they do that 200. If you put 200 points in your box, you get a frankincense. The reason that they're points and not dollar values is because doTERRA has other markets open all over the world and it keeps everything consistent for their company. Totally. Oh. And last year it wasn't just frankincense. It was, five milliliter bottles of frankincense, myrrh, and something else. It was a three set of five milliliter bottles, frankincense, myrrh, and 
Oh, I did not come to me. But there was three bottles last year, frankincense, myrrh, and something else. And it was <laughs> the holiday. I bet yeah. I can look at my memories and see it. Yeah. Okay, so right after drop in knowledge, or like a half an hour after at um, we have Empowered Success. And Empowered Success is actually a class taught by, well, it's like a roundup because everyone has little panels afterwards. It's really cool. It's brought to you by the leaders at doTERRA themselves. And so you'll be hearing from the company themselves. And it's right after Drop of Knowledge. Margo and says the third that year was Holiday Love. Holiday Love. Thanks, Margo. <laughs> okay. And then Full Moon is on the 8th. A Thursday and followed by we need you rich on the 9th and the 10th Saturday is another healing with oils class the 11th on Sunday there is well I wrote blend magic that's not true <laughs> that's silly okay moving on well is there anything else I don't know if I have that one wrong sorry y'all all right on the yeah, because you already said blend magic, so one of them is... I did. I got something confused on my calendar. Let's look. It just says a meeting. We have a team meeting. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday, uh, Medicine Song Circle. That's where we all meet in Zoom for 30 minutes and just sing our hearts out. It's really fun. It's cool to do it virtually, too. And then right after that, on the 16th of Friday, we have the last quarter moon. We kind of live a lunar schedule here, and so we tend to do celebrating of the major cross quarters of the lunar cycle. So every last quarter, we do a grief gate where we invite people to come to a one hour container to release grief if they've been holding on to it. If, it, if they're just so sad they can't operate, you know, it's like a safe place where you can lay that down. And then on the 17th, it's the last Saturday night healing with oils class because the next two Saturdays are like holidays here on the 18th a Sunday we have a stitch and bitch where we invite up to three Wico members to come on Instagram live and we'll just chit chat and work on our projects and then oh blessed winter solstice on the 21st so the, on the winter solstice this month I had planned to give us uh, all kinds of fun stuff so we're going to do a ritual together we're going to do some journal writing together and we're going to do a little bit of reflection and journeying together it's going to be an hour long and right after that winter solstice celebration, it's called Into the Light, which I feel like is really good, fitting for the month time. And then right after that on Instagram, we have In the Cards for You, where Serena and I pull cards for people of Instagram. Because after that, oh, there's Diffusing in Meditation on the 22nd. That's Thursday with Annie. Do you have anything you want to say about that? Um. Mostly just that, you know, it's my proactive healthcare um, class because, as you were saying, nothing externally outside of us can completely heal us. We also have to take care of ourselves. And so, not just having the healing, but the proactive care that, you know, we require to be happy and healthy is required to be happy and healthy. <laughs> Yeah. And I am so excited for the 21st because, oh, my God, that is some powerful sh back to back to back. And, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked. I can't wait to make the flyer, too. Okay, so right after Diffusing and Meditation on the 22nd, there is actually a new moon on the 23rd. And I love our new moon gatherings. We pull cards for you again. And we all sit and we journal and we hang out together for the new moon. And those card pulls are powerful oh my gosh i'm gonna just say it every time over and over and over y'all need to get a card pulled from jess and serena because they are oh my god tapped in oh i received that thank you so much <laughs> on the 27th there's a couple of days that we don't have things going on obviously near around like the christmas time and the new year's time we don't have much but on the 27th there's witch's wheel where I go on Instagram live and I offer people uh, a fun game to play to figure out what oil they need most in their life. And then on the 28th, there's question and answers. Anything that you wanna know, we offer a space for you to just ask ask away. And it's pretty much everything goes. Yeah. And then we're back at the first quarter moon again. And every first quarter moon, we throw down a new ships gathering. 
And that just invites everyone to drop anchor and just come hang out with WeCo. And it's all based upon the phrase, a rising tide lifts all ships. So like the more we come to celebrate together, the more we can lift each other up. Oh, and then there's one more thing that I haven't scheduled. It's empowerment circle. Speaking of lifting each other up, I am still looking for someone to share an Instagram live with me this month uh, for empowerment circle. You can come on and we can just talk about what we love, what you're offering to the world, things you're realizing, anything. And it's just a practice to lift each other higher. I love it. I love it. And, uh, Speaking of Witch's Wheel, that is one of many ways in which you can get in on free oils from us. We are all about sacred reciprocity, as is doTERRA. So every Saturday, we do Sample Saturday, where you can get a free sample of oil. You can come on Witch's Wheel and get that free sample of oil. We are giving it away. <laughs> and hard to translate how essential oils work just from you listening to our voices. <laughs> So if you have an oil experience, we know that you'll understand something, something will click and connect and you'll, you'll finally understand what we're talking about if you have an experience yourself. So yeah, if you want a free oil, Saturdays and Witches Wheel are, are, are the times to hit us up because yeah. we're, we're aching to give it away. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we have a big, strong belief in what we do here and... Sometimes it feels like there's a lot of adversity and we have to continue to speak our truth and stay strong and to believe in the healing of humanity. So if you uh, were directed here from anyone at WECO, we would like you to say that you can return to them and tell them you'd like to learn more about oils or maybe ask them any questions that you have. And then um, we hope to see you at any of these gatherings that we throw down Indeed, indeed. We, uh, we have Q&A for questions, but we're open for questions all the time. And as just said, we invite you, if someone has invited you here, to go back to them to ask questions. But you can always ask us questions here as well. And we are so grateful to have you all here. And it's a pleasure. And seriously, all, all the gatherings that we do and all the different ways and all the classes, they're so amazing. I recommend them all. Absolutely. Margo says the cards know. Yes. Thank you so much for being here, Margo. Y'all have a wonderful December. We wish you the best. Thank you, Annie, so much for being here and your yes. active Thank you. Love everyone. Bye. Y'all later.